doing Battleship Mountain. It's about 12, a little over 12 miles round trip. It's sort of warm. It's about it's gonna get up to 90 degrees or so today. Getting sort of a late start. It's about 11 a.m. But uh, heading into the heart of the superstitions here. Got up on the plateau here. I'm gonna descend down into second water. It'll lead to Boulder Canyon. So this helicopter just landed right here. I have no idea why. You know why the helicopter is this? Uh, we do not know. Huh. See four peaks out in the distance, and then there's the battleship. I'm gonna drop down into second water right in Boulder Canyon, and then get up on it. So, pretty nice out here, not too hot. Weaver's Needle out in the distance. Sending down second water here on the way to battleship. Almost at the bottom of second water. There's the battleship right here with the summit. About to hit uh, Boulder Canyon right here, which I don't think is going to have much water in it. Um, so that'll be good. I won't need to take my shoes off like I did the first the first time it was raging it was like I don't know need need a thigh deep it was in January I think or December and it was cold um so that sort of sucked but yeah I think it's gonna be relatively dry here um so yeah I'll be up there well probably not for over an hour but and here's the junction for Boulder Canyon right here. Dun, 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 dun. And of course we gotta cross right away, so there it is. There's second water. So on the way to battleship. There's Boulder Canyon. Working my way up to that ridge up there. Up the steep little slope. All class two, but nothing too crazy. It is steep, but nothing that anyone can't handle walking up. It's getting a little warmer. I think it's around 90, low 90s. This is an ideal Phoenix winter hike for sure. Anyway, making it up there to the battleship formation. And Weaver's Needle out there, looking up Boulder Canyon. Little taste of the terrain on turbo mode. Crested the uh, the ridge on the south end of the battleship formation, and now uh, steep little climb to get up there. But now you sort of get a respite as you walk along. 
taxi walk along here. Surprised I haven't seen anyone else after the helicopter, which was, you know, a mile and a half, maybe t two miles in. Haven't seen anyone, so yeah. I'm gonna be curious if I remember the way to go at all places, but I'm not gonna record the whole thing, but I do wanna record like the crux move and some of the uh, more difficult sections near the top. So I'm gonna check in when I get to that first like class three, four rock section. Here's sort of the first uh, I don't know, crux move if you want to call it that. You gotta get up. Make sure my phone's zipped up. Just gotta get up this little section here. The rock's stable, but it is, uh, can be a little unnerving. You're on some narrow exposed rock, but it's not, nothing too bad. And make sure this rock doesn't come loose. Sorry for the bad video. It's hard when I'm holding it. So we're up that first little sort of exposed section, so to speak. And now we are uh, needle back there. Now we are officially up on more of the rock section. So there it is all the way over there. Um, and actually I think it's further than that even. So now I think we get a nice uh, flat traverse over on the top so that was the first little part the barge canyons down here to the right boulder canyon on the left and uh making our way towards the battleship i've contoured on top after the first climb and then you drop down on the left and that will get you I suppose you could stay on top and then come down right here, but there's also several places to hop down onto this trail. So that puts you to this point. It's a relatively easy I think the one crux move is coming up, potentially. Maybe not. Um, this doesn't look like this isn't a crux move. This is easy. Yeah. So I'm up here. Question is, should I be down here? I think the answer is yes. Maybe. So I'm just gonna hop up right here. I don't know if, I don't think this is where I came down, but it's okay. There you go. Back on top, there's a cairn right there definitely back where I should be so anyway continue on I'll check in in a bit just going along the top you see this cairn if you continue straight you get cliffed out so you have to drop down 
And this, I believe, should take me to the narrow part, and then the crux move is after that. Yeah. This is gonna be, I mean, it's really not that narrow, but. sort of the, the crux. Can't say I remember completely. I want to say you climb up right here. I really think this is the place. Um, not 100% sure, but I think this is it. This is what a lot of people call the crux. From what I remember, the holds were all good. I'm also holding a camera, remember? Which doesn't make it easy at all. In fact, it makes it very difficult. So, uh, it's just a little class four section. I'm gonna of course, I can't put the camera away, but I'm gonna turn it off just to climb up. While I'm up, I just needed my other hand to easily be able to do it. Um, and now we are I think next we just drop down on the left side. And that's when we sort of loop around down the uh ball bearing slope as they call it to then get around to the summit so yeah so the summit I believe is that I'm not positive but I think that's it so all I gotta do is uh, go around it here then you loop up on the side, so. I'm gonna stop recording here for a bit just so I can make some headway. Cause I need to start making some better time. This is the start of a, I've wrapped around to the left here and I'm not up there. This is the start of a steep little descent. And then you go up and around. It's really pretty obvious. Um, I think the first time I did this, I had to make sure I was on top of things, but it's a little steep. I think I've slipped going down this before. Now that I'm on camera, I probably will again because there's a lot of loose dirt. Take your time. down the steep part. Now we're just gonna contour around. And once you contour around and start your way up, that's just the final push, the final summit point. So, uh, and I'm still not sure, to be honest. So this could be completely wrong, but I know there's like a, a ramp sort of step looking structure. which I honestly, I thought was, was this, right here, this ramp. Maybe I didn't get up it the easiest way, but. This is steep terrain. I don't know if you can tell, but. Ow. Damn it. Ran right into a cactus. So we're gonna go. 
door. <laughs> Yeah. Let me go over this way. That's probably what I should have done in the first place. Sort of up the more stable rock around. Still not easy with one hand. Okay. the rock ramp now it's just a push to the summit there's a more sort of roundabout way which you can see there's sort of a dirt trail and look great view of a canyon lake out there but then there's the more direct fun way Whew. I'm not in hiking shape right now. I've done one weekend of hiking since I finished the JMT. That was over two months ago. It was like 10 weeks ago. So. I'm just working my way straight up. It's more fun this way, I think. Although I already hit a tough, <laughs> tough section here. And I got a cactus. So the summit's up there. Don't want to get pricked by cactus. Is that would be bad. Yeah. I'm up here, so now just working my way up these rock slabs. That was sort of a shortcut. You could see I could have easily walked around to this point, but who wants to take the easy way? This is a little more tame. It looks like we even have a cairn here. We are on the right track. This isn't bad though, in terms of like exposure. I'm on myself. Glad I could take you on on the ride for that last part. Yeah, we're about up. I think. Unless it's over there. I think it's right here. So I'm just losing it. Where's the registry? I don't even see it. There used to be a registry. Um, look at the views out to Weaver's Needle. Superstition Ridge Line out there. Gorgeous. The lake. Here's Boulder Canyon that you see. La Barge is on the other side there. This is a good, it's a good little hike. Sort of boring for the first five miles or so, but uh, the last part up, if you've never done it, you're gonna have to be on top of your game with route finding and stuff. Um, because it's not trivial by any means, so I'm gonna hightail it back.